How are you guys doing? Welcome to the video. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the vlog. There we are going to discuss the wheels. Yes, finally we're going to talk about the wheels. Sorry it took so long guys. I wanted to make sure everything was right. Everything was set up properly. Right camber for instance, toe, make sure the offset work, make sure the actual tire widths work and stuff like that because I'm not just giving you the wheel information we got to talk about the whole look you know what i mean we got to talk about the stance we got to talk about the ride height nobody ever talks about ride height when they're talking about air and stuff like that everybody just talks about how it looks aired out whoop de doo 90 percent of the time i am ride height i don't want to look silly with some crazy poke just look laughable i want to make sure that i have a balance between my poke and also a balance with my offset, my ride, how it curves to the fender. The other thing that was a huge problem is that, you know, guys, you know I like my grip. You know how I like to drive. I like to take the country back roads, enjoy the back roads and stuff like that. And normally, when you poke, you sometimes have to give that up. A lot of people, when they poke, they have to stretch. They go down to a 235 or a 245. That's crazy. Even a 255 for the most. And that just didn't sit well with me. I really did not want to stretch a tire that much. I did not want to lose that much grip. And because of this, I took a lot of time. A lot of time. It was a lot of hours. Researching, going on the forums looking at build threads and stuff like that, looking at offsets, some of this, some of that, but I just wasn't satisfied with what's out there. I really wasn't. But for some reason, I really, really wanted some bulk. I really wanted a little bit of stretch. I really wanted some stats. Hold on with me. Enjoy the ride. Let's go talk about how I was able to accomplish Grip Boy and Stance Boy.
I just you know, hope you like that little montage and stuff like that. We are up here at the shenanigan spot and we're just chilling. Then all of a sudden the bikers came back. You know, you've seen the videos, the bikers come by, they have fun. They was actually running a, uh, a worked Corvette and a ZL1. Those guys decided to go ahead and stop by and just hang out. So right now, it's pretty cool. Right now we got a huge line just chilling. A bunch of different strokes, a bunch of different folks, and we're all hanging and chilling. Everybody's checking out Billy's TT. It's pretty awesome. I think there are more people coming. Holy shit, Ooh. people just pulling up and just hanging out. That's cool. Yeah, the red. You've seen that thing all laid out. I gotta get it and show you guys how it looks while it's actually at right height. Yo, man, check that shit out, man. Mike and me is real twinsies now, dude. We got the chromy lips and the black faces. Not those kinds of black faces. I think those are still cancel culture. We're talking about the other kind of black faces, all right? But check it out. That's rod height. And like I said, it was a, it was hard. It was hard to play with the numbers so much because I didn't want it to be too pokey. I wanted to stretch and I wanted to get enough Tire stretch so it's not too crazy. Look at that shit. Ooh. That's right on the money. Look at the four corners. Negative two camber in the front. Negative 2.5 camber in the back. Look at that Ooh. shit. And you know what's the biggest thing? In the whole setup, like I said, I want to do my grip boy. Look at this Ooh. shit right here. 275. I don't know if you can see it in the dark. I don't care. I'm happy about it. 275. I did not lose a single width of tire and I was able to satisfy my inner stance boy. Man. Just look at it. Right height to me. I said it earlier in the video coming up here. Right height to me is just as important as air and out. Air and out is secondary to me. I originally got my air just to air the car up because I didn't want to drag my motor down. Primary reason I got air. I normally sometimes park rod height. I roll rod height. I'm gonna take some photos. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Where did we left off? Ah, yes, yes, yes. We left off at the thickness, you know, T H I C C. One of my biggest things was grip. I want grip, but I wanted stance. I needed to keep my tires. I really wanted my 275. That was one of the biggest things. There's a website called Will They Fit? Now, this is the biggest tip, guys will they fit you take your current specs offsets tire width everything like that put it in there and then you put in the second section put in your proposed or your then when you hit calculate it'll actually tell you how much the poke is more and how much the poke is more or less on either side and i sat on that website hours upon hours days until days i kid you not guys i spent so much time on will they fit and so many options back and forth and so many sketch notes on this offset that tire width this rim width because rim width and offset changes if you go like with a 10 inch with a certain offset and you use that same offset on a 10.5 the offset actually physically changes how the tire sits on the hub it sounds weird but it does the other thing to note, something I saw, saw, sure, something I saw on one of the Facebook groups is that some guys were talking about these wheels, particularly interference with the calipers. Remember, offset does play a part, but the wheel face, the wheel design, the inside of the wheel is the wheel face. That actually plays a very big important part, especially if you're using big brake kits. 
If you're using big brake kits, you have to make sure that you're getting the correct face, a very deep face that curves over. So if you look here, guys, you can see in my previous TikTok and everything how close it was spinning, am I real? But actually look at it. Just look at it. What I have here, I have the T-face. And the T-face, if you look at the inside of the wheel right here, don't, don't, don't get hot and bothered how I'm rubbing it like this. If you look at the face here, the face actually sticks out further. This arch is either in or out. I'll put a superimpose works diagram of how deep the face is. So this is the T face. And in the back here is the A face. The A face is a lot shallower. It's not as deep as the T. So pretty much when you look at the diagram and you evaluate the different faces, I end up coming up with the T and the A. T and the A. T A T A. Tits and ass. I came up with some tits and ass faces. Tits and ass and faces. Faces and okay, okay, I'm going down a dark road here. We've seen Mike's car. We have very matchy matchy now with the polished lips and the black faces. But we never really saw Billy's ride. Damn, Billy's ride is reflecting so much light. I have to adjust my filter. There you go, that looks much nicer. You can actually see the pearl now. What year is it, Billy? 90. A 90 TT. Look at that dash, though. Woo! I see you with that new shift sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Arthur, everything has spent so much money yeah. on, you're talking about the damn cheapest Ooh. sticker. Yeah. Shipping is more expensive than that was. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful car. Really nice. But remember, guys. Everybody PMs, everybody discusses back and forth wheel fitment. Do what you want and have a picture and have a path you want to go down with your wheel fitment. You don't have to follow anybody. You don't have to cookie cut or anything. And hopefully some of the stuff I talked about, you guys could apply and actually come up with your own fitments. I would love to see what some of your fitments are, what you have, what you got, and just how, how it looks. Aired out is one thing. I prefer ride height. I don't want, it's a lack, it's a really bad term, but it, 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 it gets the point across. I didn't want to have a truck stance or a Mexi stance. I fought and I played around numbers to stretch enough and camber right, not extreme camber, but enough camber to get the stance and the ride I want. I wanted my grip boy and my stance boy, and I really do think I got it. Put in the comments what you think, if you believe it's the same, let me know. But hopefully with these tools and what we discuss, you guys will come up with some awesome rides. And until next time. Like and subscribe. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Later guys.